So this is my U Utah Kata combo video. It's a combo where you're using the Utah Kata, the water training version, and you want to combo it with Invasion of Akoski um, in order to get the Akoski Rogue Ninja ambush combo. You know, strategy of other things you can use Utakata for is to deliberately put ninja attack into your chakra area from your deck. You can put Chidori. This particular one. Uh, in order to use it, you have to have no cards in your hand. And then you can play this uh, Jutsu from your chakra area. Uh, dynamic marking while this card is in this jutsu card is in your chakra area each time your akamaru is sent out to attack discard the top card of your opponent's deck um, this is useful obviously if you're using akamaru knight attack chidori could be used in, you know, in any deck um, in a water deck chidori is better because it will cost less to use if you actually have it in a water deck but in any other deck you can just play pay three chakra to use this effect Night attack, obviously just two chakra in order to use. Another card you can put into your chakra area from your deck using Yuta Kata's ability is Angering the Beast. That has the effect while this mission card is in your chakra area, all your Tail Beast Ninjas cards get negative one entrance cost. That should also apply for your reinforcement deck. So even your reinforcement deck, Tail Beast, uh, get negative one entrance cost. So there's that. I don't I don't know 100% for a fact, but that's what I believe. So that'd be pretty cool. All right. Um, let's go back to the invasion of Akoski. As you can see, it has zero hand cost, so you can splash in any deck. It's a three drop permanent. So as long as it's on, so it'll stay on the field for a very long time. Effect when this mission card's effect is applied, search your deck for one rogue ninja. Ninja card and move it to your shark area. And here are some rogue ninjas. As you can see in the red, where it says Miss Rogue Ninja Male, you see it says Rogue Ninja. I know there's something, let me see. Yeah, that is interesting. If you look, that's a misprint. It has two U's in Rogue. It's like, it should still apply. Obviously, that should be a miss. Mesh print. In the print when I made the card, but you see every other ninja has rogue ninja. This is also an Akoski ninja, so either way you can. Well, because this one, uh, well, this is rogue, so yeah, you can put it into chakra through the effect of the invasion of Akoski card. The Dar is also a rogue ninja and an Akoski, so if it's both criteria. And Sasuke Uchiha is just a rogue ninja. And as you can see, these rogue ninjas that I'm showing you, they have zero hand cost, so they can be splashed in any deck, and they're, they're relatively strong, five power, six power, four power. That's the main reason I just picked them. There's tons of other rogue ninjas and Akoski ninjas you can uh, you can use for the effect of the invasion of Akoski in order to you know uh, deploy them from your shark area. So the idea is you're you know, you're focusing on manipulating your chakra area. So this will help you with the curve, you know, to make sure you have a, a four drop and a five drop and a six and so forth, so forth depending on how far you're going. Um, because another thing to note is that Utakata, he himself is a rogue ninja, so there's that. But you can only have one of him in play at, at a time anyway, so that doesn't matter too much. His ability is you pay one chakra, search your deck for a non-ambush card. You know, non-ambush. You know, notice this is a non-ambush card, not amb non-ambush ninja card. Because you can put any card, jutsus, or missions, clients, whatever, into your chakra area. Just as long as it doesn't have ambush, right? Which only ninjas would have ambush. Card from your deck and move it to your chakra area. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So this is how you'll get your your jutsus 
you know, like your ninja attack, your Chidori, and your dynamic marking. That's how you get them into Shark Area from your deck. Angry and the Beast, how you get your mission into the Shark Area, but mainly your use is effect for your ninjas. I mainly have four drops in these example. Here's a three drop. So, so in yeah, so in turn three, you could play this card, right, and grab a ninja. Uh, and a good example would be to grab this one because this, as you can see, it's a rogue ninja. This is a, it's a three inches cost of three. So you could play this, and then uh, from your tracker deploy Haku, and then now you have, you know, a deployment, a four power deployment. So that right there can combo. You can put Haku in the chakra area with Utakara's ability. Well, I meant to say, uh, with Invasion against Cassie's ability, you could put Haku in there and then deploy from there just from uh, Invasion Chaos' own ability. So just by playing a card alone, you can already get something into your chakra area that you could deploy. So it it's like a plus one, you know, it it pays for itself. You play it, you can get Haku or any uh, three interest costs, uh, Rogue Ninja, and then deploy that turn. If you if you use this to get a four drop or five drop, you know, you know, interest cost ninja, then you're gonna have to wait a turn. You have to wait until the next turn to deploy. But let's say it is your fifth turn, then you know, and then you suddenly play, draw this card, play it. Well, you know, you can get the five, the fifth turn, you know, fifth interest cost rogue ninja, put into the chakra area, and then deploy it. You know what I mean? So after turn three, this will have you know. A, will have a stronger ability because then you can just pick a higher cost, higher interest cost ninja and then put into your tracker by the first effect and then the second effect you can deploy. So it it works within itself. So you can splash this card into any deck where you have rogue ninjas um, in general. So it's generally good. You play it, you get something. Since it's a turn three, you won't get nothing sooner than turn three. But it's still a deployment, so you still have to meet the the proper interest cost. So, so there's that. But as you can see, it's a simple strategy. Um, the ability to pick and choose your ninjas, the ability to deploy from your shark area, especially when you're putting from your from your deck straight into your shark area, and then deploying from your shark area straight to your field, you know, into your village, instead of deploying anything from your hands. So that saves your hands. So you'll you know you'll. You'll, ban it, you'll, you'll maintain hand advantage because you're not using anything from your hand. All, all the stuff you're using is, you know, is mainly from your from your um, from your chakra area. You know, so there's that. And that'll be the end of the video.